guys, Cart from CQB Radio here, and I'm doing a review of the Classic Army LWRC. I've had this guy for a while, but I have not done a review, so I thought I'd just get some info out about this gun. really like this guy a lot. It's one of my uh, primary guns that I use for training. Uh, lightweight, very nicely made. Classic Army, as always, makes good stuff, and this uh, gun in particular I find really just, it's a high quality, high quality gun. Now, it's going to run you over 400 bucks, so it's not super cheap, but if you want something that's really unique, this is actually a very cool option. Let me uh, go into a little bit more detail and break it down for us. Now this uh, gun from LWRC is the M6A2 and this gun was actually made to be a slightly higher caliber than the 5.56 because of some situations that US forces were facing and they were going up against guys who had body armor and were shooting 7.62 rounds. Uh, really uh, a lot of this was based around what happened over in Somalia in the Black Hawk Down situation and that whole uh, engagement in Somalia and so they said we need something that's got a little bit more power and so LWRC created this gun that shoots a higher caliber um, round and so Classic Army basically took it and just did a fantastic job cloning this gun from the uh, based on the real thing and making a really nice gun so let's go with the stock start at the stock and then we'll work our way forward this guy is a kind of a cool stock it's not your average crane stock uh, your battery does go inside here but there are a couple other features First, you can see here you got an option if you want to put a sling, um, a QD sling swivel, you can put it there. Rather than pulling down um, or compressing the way your average crane stock works, this guy pushes up like this and then slides back. It is a six position. It does have an attachment point here if you want to run some webbing for a sling. Um, it does have the different numbers there. You can see number four, obviously. Um, as you adjust it out to the different sizes and positions. It didn't come with this sling mount here, but I took the uh, stock off and put this guy on. I will note that because it is a crane stock and by the way they have the wires run, it is a little bit of work to get the stock off and then to uh, put that sling swivel on or this um, attachment point and then to put the stocks back on. But it was it's doable, it just takes a little bit of work. This guy also comes with this little, see if I can do it with one hand here. Well, it's hard to do with one hand, but that is a little um, compartment to store batteries and other things like that. That's uh, similar to like a UBR stock from Magpul. One of the things I really like about this stock is how easy it is to actually take it off the end plate to put the battery in. So let me give you a different angle and show you what that looks like. Essentially to take off the stock, all you're going to do is press on this button right here and then release this whole end plate. The whole thing pops right off. You can see there's a little hook on the bottom. And then that's where your or your battery goes. Now you can run a nunchuck obviously there, you can run a lipo depending on how you have it set up, but uh, really easy to take on and uh, put back or take off and put back on so that's a very nice feature of this guy. Okay a couple features here, got a nice tango down style uh, pistol grip here, texturized there. It does come with a standard gray M4 mag, this is the P mag I just added to that. Full metal construction the whole thing, you can see your trades here LWRC International, Cambridge, Maryland, and then some more stuff up here. This gun is a blowback gun, so on the other side, uh, I'll show you what that actually looks like when it's opened up. Selector switch clicks into place very nicely, which is a pet peeve of mine when they don't. Metal trigger. Moving up to the front here, you can see I put some Magpul accessories, some rail covers, and the angled foregrip. Full rail along the top. I put a new uh, King, Knight, sorry, Knight's Armament style flash hider up there. Then you got this full rail all the way along the top. And one cool feature is it's numbered here. And then you can see right there, there's an American flag under these uh, flip-up sights, which are also really cool. So let's take a look at the flip-up sights and look at the other side of the gun. Here you can see the front sight, and then down there is the rear sight that has two different apertures. And both these guys are adjustable. Really nice. And then you basically push this button in on the side and flip them down. And same thing for that one as well. Over here on the other side of the gun, you got your unique uh, trade information built into that little uh, square there. It says Classic Army here, and then you can see this is with the bolt actually um, locked back, and you press your uh, bolt release on the other side, and that'll uh, push it forward. This is a non-functional forward assist up here, but it does have a nice solid spring in there. And then you've got your pin if you want to actually take this guy apart. Uh, very nicely made, and... Um, Really, I like the blowback feature. It's got a nice solid clank to it, so that's an additional thing. Some blowback guns that you have out there, when you uh, shoot the blowback, it just sounds like cheap metal banging back and forth, and this is actually has a really nice sound to it. Here's what it looks like when you release the bolt forward, and very solid snap. 
Now, I'm not going to go into all the detail about the construction of this guy, but I can say if you get onto Airsoft GI's website and look at the LWRC over there, uh, Tim does a full breakdown comparing a real steel uh, M6A2 from LWRC to this guy. And, I mean, everything, the construction inside, the gas tube, all that stuff is just... The Classic Army did a fantastic job cloning it. So, definitely, uh, if you're looking for a gun that looks a lot like the real steel, this is going to be a great option. As far as FPS, this guy is going to shoot in the high 300s with .25s. Uh, I use this guy for an outdoor skirmish. I actually had a grenade launcher on it too, and it was really, really functional for me. It had some really good range, and I haven't done any upgrades as far as hop up or type or barrel or anything. So, uh, mid 300 or sorry, high 300s with a .25s, really nice gun, really good range. And again, it takes standard M4 mags, so if you're running some sort of M4, this is a great option for you. Now, overall, this guy, I really like it. The only challenge is that it is pretty expensive. You're going to be paying over 400 bucks probably for it. There are some Sportline versions from um, Classic Army of this gun. Uh, with a different style stock. It looks a little bit more like an M4, but still it is uh, the LWRC M6A2. So check that out if you want to get something on the lower end, but this is the higher end version of it. And um, I would really recommend it. I like it a lot and um, have had a lot of fun with, with it um, out on the field. So check it out, the Classic Army LWRC M6A2. This is Cart from CQB Radio signing off. Keep on firing.